All right. Uh, welcome to SwimmerCircle.com. This is Andy Shear coming to you uh, with Ricky Behrens. And we have the, the men's bracket challenge going on. Ricky was one of the first to submit his brackets in. A uh, little bit overexcited in his picks, I think. But, you know, Ricky's going to go through and uh, explain to us uh, the key swimmers and give us a brief update on himself and, and really where his picks lie. So the expert on the matter here is Ricky Behrens. Ricky, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. No problem. So, Ricky, if you want, uh, can you just give us a, a little bit of an insight as to what you're doing now? Catch us up on you. Yeah, you know, right now we're just training away. Uh, you know, this is kind of, we took a good solid break after Shanghai, kind of kind of warmed up to it, and um, since January we just been hammering, hammering practices out, things are getting intense, and we're just working real hard towards trials. Um you know, this is kind of the last uh, uh, the last couple months where, where it's really starting to pick up. Swim practices, I think all of us are all just kind of counting down the days. We're watching, um, you know, French trials are going on right now. The Australian trials just finished and been keeping an eye on that. And we're just, I think a bunch of us are just ready for June 25th. And we're ready for the Olympic trials to start and for, for our championship to begin. Absolutely, and and definitely an exciting time, I think, for everyone in the in the swimming community. You know, us especially as we're sitting here reporting on all this stuff and and covering the French trials and covering Australian trials and uh, you know NC two A is coming up. It's it's always a busy time of year right now. Um, so your picks, can you give us a rundown of of your top eight? All right, my top eight. Um, I have Auburn in eighth. I got uh, Florida, USC six, and then um, Michigan fifth, and then the the real the real picks the the top four for the trophies. I got uh, Cal in fourth, Stanford third, Arizona in second, and Texas in first. Yeah, no no big surprise there, obviously. <laughs> I'm uh, confident, in my boys. That's right, and and obviously sporting the the Texas shirt right now, and you got the Texas bet Longhorns in the background, uh, all the way up on the wall. Um, Everything's Texas around here. Absolutely, as as well it should be, right? <laughs> exactly. So, you know, we we said Texas first. Give us the the top two or three swimmers that that you think are going to have either a key performance or that are going to be those key swimmers at NC two A's. I, you know, I, I don't think, with, with Texas, it's never two or three. With te Texas, it's, it's everybody. Um, right now, where, where I think it lies is we always, we always like the upperclassmen to really lead these guys towards the national championship. So, I mean, we got a huge, huge senior class. Uh, Jackson Wilcox, Jimmy Feagan, just to name two of the, two of the biggest leaders on the team. You know, Jimmy's been, been second in the 50, um, two out of his three years and second in the 100, three out of three years. So I know he's itching for a title on one of those, and he'll have some big showdowns too. Um, Jackson Wilcox, he's been on uh, for this season. I think a lot of those guys, this is this is their time. They're ready to shine, and uh, I'm I'm really confident in the way they've been training and, and swimming all year long. Yeah, Jimmy Feagan is is definitely knocking on that door for for at least one of those titles. So he is be, should be good for him. Um, now, now we go to Arizona, and in Arizona, at least in, in my opinion, they were uh, uh, one of my top two, and I won't give you my my top uh, at this point. But um, who who do you think Arizona is going to step up? Uh, you know, you got to go back to the seniors, um, Corey Chitwood, Austin Tom, those guys. Um, they're freshman breaststroker who went went fifty eight fifty one eight at uh, the um, Texas invite. Mm -hmm. Those twins will be big, and, and I think Chitwood, Chitwood's going to be, he's going to be impressive the whole meet. I mean, 200 IM, 200 back, those showdowns with David Nolan, they're going to be huge, and they're going to be big points for them. So, I again, it goes back to the, those older guys, Austin Thompson, 400 IM, 200 IM, and then on the breaststrokes, where they can really, really pick up some ground. Yeah, the, the Arizona breaststrokers um, have been significantly, at least in my opinion, improving uh, pretty consistently. You know, and, and everybody looks at Cal and says, you know, Cal has all the breaststrokers and, and that's what they're, they're dominant for. But 
you know, they, they forget about, uh, you know, people, and, and if you look at the, the heat sheet or the psych sheet, uh, you know, Friedland's down there, uh, yeah. you know, and, and a couple others uh, down down in the, the lower rankings, but definitely going to compete. Uh, yeah, that 200 breaststroke heat, it looks like right now it could be Arizona, California, and Texas taking yep. up all, all top eight spots. Yep. So that'll be an exciting race. Yeah, definitely will. That's one of the ones I'm really looking forward to. Um, yeah. Now, earlier, you know, we, we had talked about picks yesterday a little bit, and we have picks today. Um, Cal and Stanford. So we have Stanford in, in third right now. Uh, yep. Give me, give me a rundown of, of what you're thinking there. You know, Stanford, they always, we always, going through college, we always say Stanford swims for that conference championship to keep that streak alive. And, uh, you know, they always kind of, <laughs> they'll swim about the same times. Well, I wouldn't say that. A lot of them will drop going into NCAAs. Um, but uh, this year, I, I think um, they were good at, pa- at Pac-12s, but they weren't great. And I think, um, I think a lot of them will, will really swim a lot faster at NCAAs. So, you know, Tom Shields and Cal and a lot of those guys, they have the stars, uh, but I, I don't think they have the depth that Stanford has. Um, just, I, th- I think they'll be very, very close. And I know that they're, uh, they were one, two, they were first, second at Pac-12, correct? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and I, I think it, I think it'll stay that way. Now, now we get into the bottom tier, and I hate to call it a bottom tier. Yeah, it's, yeah. You know, it, I feel like the, those top four spots are just locked. Yeah. And it'd be a huge surprise for somebody else to jump in there. Yep. So we have those those strong top four. Now, we look at, you know, Michigan, Florida, Auburn, USC, not in that order of your picks. I mean, if we go in order of your picks, you got Michigan, then USC, then Florida slash Auburn. Um, yep. You know, dueling it out right there. Give me a, a, a quick 30-second rundown of of those those four teams and uh, why they're not up in the top four. Uh, you know, Michigan, Michigan's the one team that, that if there was a team in those top four that we didn't expect to be Michigan. They, you know, their freestyle events, they're 500 and their milers, they're, they're stacked. I think they have three out of the top four guys in the mile, um, which are looking really good. Um, Dan Madwood, he's going to have a huge year. And uh, same with Kyle Whitaker, who's only a sophomore. So, I mean, it'll, it'll, they have some, some big guys. They have some stars. And they actually, some of their relays are really placed really high. So, I think they have more of the depth than they do USC, Florida, Auburn. Um, Auburn, they had the, the fast uh, 200 freestyle relay. Um, I think they're a the top seed by almost a second. And then everybody else is within two tenths of each other. Um, so, I mean, they have some quick, quick guys as normal. But I, I don't think they nearly have the depth to, to crank it. To, to crack into the top top five, top six. USC, I get to see those guys uh, train a lot. Um, Vladimir, he, he's gonna have he's gonna have some good races. Uh, same with Alex Lindrum, Chase Block. They don't have the depth, they don't have the numbers that all the other teams do, but they have the talent. So um, I think they played seventh last year, and I think they got a better squad than last year. So we'll put them at sixth, and then. Yeah, I think it's a toss-up between Florida and Auburn, see, seeing who uh, the SEC schools put up there. All right. Um, now we have all of those top eight, you know, and, and uh, all these other schools are sitting out there saying, hey, you know, why didn't I make it in Ricky Barron's top eight? Um, <laughs> you know, and the the great part about this is it's always a debate. These challenges are, are always a, a great way to, to stir up some, some emotion and stir up some, some debates out there. Yeah. Uh, give me the one race, and I don't want you to call it, but give me the one race that you're looking forward to watching. <laughs> um, just the freestyle events. I go figure. I'm a freestyler. Uh, you know, I, I love watching the hundred, two hundred freestyle. 